Our scholar Inser ought to be at the Canyon Hill site, getting to the bottom of this damn holdup. He ought to be back already, telling me how he fixed it. If you do see him, give him a kick for me and tell him to get on with it. I've got miners just standing around not mining. Good day. Always bring headwear, lest the sun burn you down. I'm in a terrible bind. I don't dare go forward, and I certainly can't go back. Mind you, I wouldn't go up that eastern ledge. It's most unsafe. Oh, yes. Our stalwart foreman. He sent you after me, I suppose. It's a place of mystery and intrigue. No one knows what luck's at the top, though everyone's got a guess. Scholar of mineralogy, motus mining, and unwitting adventurer. A pleasure to make your acquaintance, I'm sure. Odessa could not have been built without the motus mining interest. I've heard tales of terrifyingly scarred men appearing at the entrance of the caverns from time to time. I don't care why they're there, I just don't want them anywhere near me. Yes. Well, well, no. I got ten paces up the slope when I spotted those fey. What's a scholar to do against hordes of vicious beasts? One of those boggarts? It shook its fist at me. Yes, and find out what's wrong. Now that I've found it, and have no desire to investigate further. There were boggarts, lots of boggarts. And I think I saw a thresh. I was rather too busy running to note the particulars. Well, if you were willing to go first, I would have no objection to trailing behind. At a safe distance. To the Canyon Hill site at the top of the ledge. Where a cadre of fee awaits to rip us to shreds, no doubt. Lead the way. Up the slope we go. There they are. Dispatch them before they attack me.
steal the light, come to trouble the reverie. I long to return to the reverie. While Calivar walks the sands, I must sleep. He and I are two where there once were many. We lived then wild on dune and crag. Now he watches the waking day, and I tend to the dreaming murmurs of the stone. When I became aware the light was gone, the shell of the reverie cracked, and my dream self wandered free. Long, long ago, I wandered lost in the dark of night. I cried a pool into a rocky basin, and starlight gathered there. I fashioned this into a jewel, and by its light found my way home. Is it any wonder that I hold it so dear? They are my friends, drawn here as I drift between the dream world and the world of the waking. The light, source of solace, snuck in, sharp knives, soft feet, stole the jewel from my side took it northward through the narrow rocks to their village of wood and cloth. Look down there. It's beginning to make sense. This fame maiden is real. But I believe we're speaking to a projection of her as she dreams. There is a Fey Hollow under this mine, where I'll wager she sleeps. And these other Fey, they're drawn to the power of this projection. Restoring to her this light she speaks of might calm things down. Find me at the Motus Mining Office when you return it to her. I'll make sure you're duly compensated. No, I feel quite certain. The maiden we see here is a projection of her dream self, as she calls it. The real Fae is asleep somewhere in the hollow below us, I'll wager. And these other wild Fae are drawn to the power she exudes while in this form. Most likely return what was stolen to the Fae maid within the hollow. That is how these things tend to go.
The light. Return to me. Did you do this? The blessings of the thorn and shadow be upon your head, little mortal. Now lead me to the reverie, and the deep shadow and the far wind oh. sighs. I long to return to the reverie. While Calivar walks the sands, I must sleep. This is home, the place of power. I can feel the mortal's presence above, taking, chipping away at the land. Calivar will not be pleased. Now I have the light, the reverie will be untroubled. Now leave me be, little one. Leave me be. Ah. Fey relic? Was that it? She called it a light. I wonder what possessed those fools to steal it. No matter. Facts are, without you, I'd still be tugging my beard at the bottom of that slope. So, please have this. The interest rewards those who smooth its way. All this caused by a stolen jewel. Remarkable. As I've always said, there's no understanding Fay. All the same, 
We ought to have known we were digging right above a fey hollow. Didn't seem important at the time, I suppose. Foreman Vire, head harder than a rock and emptier than a mined out stove. Goodbye. Thank you for all you've done. Hey? You look well armed. Aren't you here about the Crudduck? We have a vicious one on our hands. It's about the desert, killing any workers it can catch. How in blazes it developed a taste for gnome flesh, only that damn thing knows. Confound it. Between the Canyon Hill incident and that beast, our schedule's ground to a halt. They were the first mining operation here in the Hollowlands. Foreman by the name of Edgar Aaron. Rumor has it he spent every coin he had building his mine. When Motus moved in, they waved bags of gold in the faces of Aaron's workers. The next day, they all jumped ship. It's tragic, but it's business. We don't know where it got a taste for the gnome miners, but it's been terrorizing the Dunehead mine. Motus is offering a considerable bounty for its demise. Once word got out that Edgar Aaron had found this mineral-rich site, Motus rushed to get an operation set up here. I'm all the muscle they bothered to send. I'm the lone guard Motus hired to protect this place. They've given me a chief of security title, but that means nothing when I've got no men to command. Now we've got a Crudduck that's more than a match for a small army. I know better than to go out there alone. No one knows what's at the top of Cloudcrest, but that don't stop folks speculating. I've heard the first face set foot in Armalor came from there. That'd explain why there are so many of them in Detir. Know it as well as my own calloused hand. That's why they pay me good gold to sit here. You won't find much on the surface here, but trapped below is the salvation of Odessa's future. We've the raw materials under our feet to equip entire armies. And that's why you'll find Motus mining and, such as it is, Aaron excavations digging here. Canyon Hill is up the eastern ledge. That's the one that spooked the miners. The dune head operations hardly begun thanks to a vicious crudduck. I've heard the rumors. They might be saints or bastards, but they've coin to spare and that's enough for me. We don't have separate rooms, but we've got beds upstairs. It'll cost you though. We're the closest thing to an inn for leagues around us. I've heard bizarre tales about those caves. The workers swear they've seen ghastly men, ravaged by some plague or, or foul magic, pacing round the entrances. You got the picture. Don't know how the damned old thing got a taste for him, but once it gets an idea, there's no stopping it. We've put a price on its hide, but who'd be crazy enough to earn it? Well, you sure? All right, it's your funeral. You should speak to Edgar Aaron of Aaron Excavations. He'll know how to find Bloodbane. Edgar's lived in the Hollowlands longer than any of us. 